Welcome guys, welcome to this uh, under investigation video. Today we're going to take a look at uh, incident number 82 of the current season. So a multi-class incident that rode America between the GT3 and uh, GTP drivers on last Monday. Uh, so that was raced on uh, August 5th. <coughs> uh, let's take a look. Pretty straightforward, I would think. So let's follow the GTP car. So of course your normal line is to track out. And then the following corner, if you know Rodam, you know that it's a uh, left-hander. Uh, well, a right-hander, so you need to go to the left. Uh, so the normal racing line would be to be around the middle here and bring it on to the inside part of the following corner um, so that you place yourself on the left to turn right. Um, so here, I have a car in the middle of the track, but it goes away. Uh, that's pretty terminal, I would think. Yeah. I don't know what's happening in, in, just curious what happens, what makes, does like the, the flies goes around the, the tire here. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. Um, so from the cockpit view, yeah, at first it really looks like, so there's a left hander and then the Ferrari seems to go left and then kind of blocks on the outside. Uh, creating a contact. So contact is comes very late. Oh yeah, the, the car is spinning. All right, let's take a look from the cockpit of this Ferrari. Yeah, so sometimes when you think you're leaving the inside, doesn't mean um, doesn't mean that you're kind of executing the blue flag correctly. Yeah, we think here it's a small mistake. I mean, it looks really looks like you're turning left in here. So the driver's turning left and then straight out the wheel. So it has to go to he's pointing on the outside or the right side of the, the track. So I think he. Uh, probably just uh, thought he would give the inside, but the the GTP was already there. So the the closing spin are uh, so great that the the easiest the easiest way of dealing with traffic in GT3 GTP cars is as the slowest class you need to be predictable. So predictable would be in, in this case you're in a straight, but not not straight. Uh, you're in a straight, but not so straight. So keep your normal racing line. Um, don't focus too much on uh, on the rear view mirror mirror because it could uh, it could make you very uh, vulnerable to whatever you see, and then you want to react. So let do um, let the the faster car make the make the work. Make the they they have to do the the, the pass cleanly. So by being predictable, staying on the normal racing line here on the left uh, would have given space for the Solpec car in front. So I'll send this to the stewards, but uh, to me it is pretty much on the uh, the GT3 here. So I'll send this to the stewards. Have a nice day everyone. See you on track.